the special case of uh, the application of Schrodinger wave equation to a three dimensional rectangular box is a cubical box. What do you mean by a cubical box? A cubical box is a, is the one for, for which a is equal to b is equal to c. Okay, so all can be taken as a. The length, height, and uh, uh, the breadth or width of the box are the same. All are equal to a. Now what? we are interested in is calculating the wave function and energy of the particle in the different states when it is in a cubical box here i have written the solution for wave function and energy for a particle in a rectangular box which is given here psi of x comma y comma z is equal to square root of 8 divided by a b c into sine terms represent uh, for x axis y axis and z axis now for a cubical box what happens to this equation for a cubical box so for a cubical box psi of x comma y comma z is square root of 8 divided by a into b into c but all a b c are same equal to a so this is a into a into a which is a q into sin n x pi by a into x into sin n y pi by b the length of the box along y axis it is also a okay into y into sin n z pi by c the length of the box along z axis is also same equal to a into z please see here i have changed the length of the box along the three axis okay from b i have replaced a here c i have replaced it by a because the length of the box uh, along all the three axes are same it does not mean that the x axis y axis and z axis are one and the same so i can replace y by x here z by x is here no okay the three axes are different x is different from y y is different from z z is different from x but what is same for all the three axes is the length of the region okay in which the particle can move okay so this is the expression for the wave function uh, for the particle moving in a cubical box similarly this is the expression for the energy in a rectangular box now how this expression changes or gets modified for a cubical box again i have to substitute the condition that for cubical box a b and c are same they are one and the same equal to a for a cubical box therefore e is equal to h square divided by a t m into nx square divided by a square no change plus n y square divided by b is now again a a square plus n z square c is also replaced by a therefore the energy is you have common denominator a square which can be removed from Okay, I will take the common denominator and remove it from the bracket. So you get h square divided by 8 m a square into n x square plus n y square plus n z square. Okay, so this is the wave function and this is the total energy of the particle in a cubical box. Now let us consider the ground state or the lowest energy state. Of the system okay for the ground state okay how do you define the ground state we have to substitute the lowest possible values the quantum numbers can take so what is the lowest value of nx it is 1 ny is also 1 nz is also 1 so these values of nx, ny and nz specify the ground state of the system. The corresponding wave function, I will write it as psi11, okay. I will draw this x, y, z, okay. We should bear in mind that x is, when I write wave function psi, it means psi of x, y, z. I simply write it as psi111. What does these three numbers, uh, superscripted number represent? They represent the values of nx, ny and nz. So psi 111 becomes square root of 8 divided by a cube into sine 
nx is 1 so pi by a into x into sin pi by a into y into sin pi by a into z this represents the state of the system in terms of wave function for the ground state and the corresponding energy of the particle in the ground state i write e11 e111 okay as h square divided by 8 m a square into 1 square plus 1 square plus 1 square which is 3 h square divided by 8 m a square okay so this is the zero point energy okay of the particle in a cubical box okay which is three times h square divided by 8 ma square remember this term h square divided by 8 ma square what is this term h square by 8 ma square is nothing but the zero point energy of the particle trapped in a one dimensional box so the zero point energy of a particle in a three dimensional cubical box is three times the zero point energy of the particle in the one dimensional box which is uh, an uh, uh, acceptable mm. observation for the particle moving along x axis y axis and z axis there are three zero point energies corresponding to x y and z a more on add madidre the overall zero point energy should be three times so the zero point energy for the particle moving along three axis is three times the zero point energy of the particle moving only along one axis so this is the zero point energy so far so good okay uh, there is one wave function representing the ground state and its corresponding energy. Now let us speak about the next possible state the particle can have. Now what are the different possible values of nx, ny and nz that could represent the next possible state. Okay, In fact there are three different combinations of nx, ny and nz that could possibly represent the next possible state so for the lowest state nx was 1 ny was also equal to 1 nz is equal to 1 so the next energy state what we have to do is we have to change the value of one of the quantum numbers to 2 from 1 to 2 the other two quantum numbers should have the same value remember nx ny nz are independent of each other so changing the value of one does not affect the value of other so the next state in the defined we will change the value of one of the quantum number from 1 to 2 and keep the other two values same that is 1. So how many different possibilities are there? There are three possibilities for the next state for the next state there are three possibilities. What are those possibilities? nx is equal to 2 so i have changed the value of nx from 1 to 2 but ny and nz are unchanged its value is equal to 1 this is one possible possibility other possibility is i have uh, changed the value of ny okay i have changed the value of ny from 1 to 2 keeping nx and nz unchanged they are still at 1 the third possibility is change the value of nz from 1 to 2 keeping nx and ny same unchanged so there are three different combinations or possibilities okay which we generally call it as 2 1 1 okay 1 2 1 1 1 2 so this is nx this is ny this is nz Okay, so in the first possibility nx is 2, ny and nz are 1. In the second combination nx and nz are 1, ny is equal to 2. Third combination nx and ny are equal to 1, nz is equal to 2. So there are three possibilities or three combinations 2, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1 or 1, 1, 2. Now let us find out their respective wave function. For the first combination, okay, for the first combination, what is psi 2, 1, 1? Okay, what is psi 2, 1, 1? What we have to do now? Substitute nx is equal to 2, ny and nz is equal to 1. So psi 2, 1, 1 is equal to square root of 8 divided by a cube into sine 
टू पाई बाई ए इंटू एक्स इंटू साइन पाई बाई ए इंटू वाई इंटू साइन पाई बाई ए इंटू जेड Similarly, for the second combination, you can write psi one to one is square root of eight divided by eight cube into sine pi by a into x into sine two pi by a into y into sine pi by a into z. The third, for the third, the wave function is square root of 8 divided by a cube into sin pi by a into x into sin pi by a into y into sin pi 2 pi by a into z and these three are different why they are different though the expressions are similar they are different in the sign terms here the term sine term with respect to x is in the exact state because this quantum number is 2 here whereas these two terms still represent the ground state of the particle along y and z axis this term in this term here the x term and the z terms represent uh, the corresponding values when n, x and nz is equal to 1 it means these two terms represent the ground state of the particle along x and z but the particle is in the exact state along y and this term okay represents that state of the system where the particle is in the exact state along z axis but it is in the ground state along y and x axis so these three wave functions are mathematically different and physically they are different because they represent different state of the system one represents the state where the particle uh, is excited along x axis but uh, in the ground state along y and z Okay, so similarly second term represents the state where the particle is in the exact state along y but in the ground state along x and z. The third wave function represents that state of the system where the particle is in the exact state along z but in the ground state along x and y. So they are physically different wave functions, mathematically also they are different wave functions. So these three wave functions represent different state of the system. But what about the energies of each of the state or what are what is the energy of each of this wave function no so let us now compute or calculate what is the energy okay this is now interesting why because if you look at this energy expression for a cubical box the energy is h square divided by 8 ma square into nx square plus ny square by nz square. So there are two po three possible combinations 211, 121 or 112. So whatever combination I substitute here, whether you, I substitute 211 or 121 or 112, the value of this nx square plus ny square plus nz square will be the same. 2 square plus 1 square plus 1 square is same as 1 square plus 2 square plus 1 square which is same as 1 square plus 1 square plus 2 square so what we observe that energy of 2 1 1 1 state is same as the energy of 1 2 1 state which is same as the energy of 1 1 2 state which is if I substitute it becomes h square divided by 8 m a square into 2 square plus 1 square plus 1 square or you can put 1 square plus 2 square plus 1 square or 1 square plus 1 square plus 2 square whatever it is which is okay 4 plus 1 5 plus 1 6 h square divided by 8 m a square which you can simplify and write 3 h square by 8 m a square you need not do that okay we will keep it as such so what we observe here is a very quantum mechanical phenomenon where you have three different states of the same system okay three different states of the same system actually these are these three states are orthogonal to each other what do you mean by orthogonal i had defined earlier mathematically what do you mean by two functions are orthogonal to each other so you have different functions wave functions representing different state of the same system which are orthogonal to each other the functions are orthogonal to each other but all these 
different states are having same energy i repeat here in this case you have three different wave functions orthogonal wave functions representing three different states but of the same system having same energy this is a purely quantum mechanical effect or quantum mechanical outcome or a quantum mechanical phenomenon called as degeneracy so what do you mean by degeneracy different states represented by different wave functions but having same energy this phenomenon is called as degeneracy and those wave functions or states that are having which are different but are having same energy are called as degenerate states so degeneracy what is degeneracy the phenomenon where different states of the system represented by different wave functions but have same energies is called degeneracy the phenomenon is called degeneracy and the states are called degenerates or degenerate states so psi 211 psi 121 psi 112 are degenerate states because they are three different wave functions of this same system but have same energy therefore we say that psi 211 psi 121 and psi 112 are triply degenerate because there are three wave functions if there are two wave functions we call doubly degenerate this ground state since there is only one wave function representing the ground state uh, the phenomenon of degeneracy does not bother the ground state because there is only one wave function representing the ground state but the first excited state of this system is represented by three different wave functions which have same energy so this concept or the effect of uh, uh, this degeneracy is important for the for the excited state okay now let, now let us now uh, consider the next possible state the particle can have the system can have so what we have to do now is already i have changed the value of one quantum number from one to two keeping the other two as constant now what i will do in the next stage is i have three possibilities i can do uh, train different things one what i can do is i can still keep the value of n y and n z is equal to 1 change the value of n x from 2 to 3 okay that is one way you can do okay n x is equal to 3 n y is equal to 1 n z is equal to 1 so such you have three possible combination okay uh, n x is equal to 1 n y is equal to 3 n z is equal to 1 or n x is equal to 1 n y is equal to 1 n z is equal to 3 whatever it is but this is not the next possible state why i will tell you I will give another possibility where from here I will jump to nx is equal to 2, ny is also equal to 2, nz is equal to 1. So what changes you observe here? The value of nx was already 2, so I retained that value. Now what I have done is ny which was originally 1, I have increased it to 2, whereas nz is still equal to 1 okay so this is the second possibility from moving from this state to this state what is the meaning of this with respect to x and y axis the particle is now in the exact state first excited state but the particle is in the ground state along z axis what is the meaning of this the particle is in the second exact state that is the third state along x axis but still it's in the ground state along y and z 
Now, which is the exact state? After this, which is the next possible state represented? Whether this is the next possible state or this is the next possible state, which is the correct one? For that, we should calculate the energy for these two combinations. And the one that gives the lesser energy should be the next possible state. So the energy mainly depends on nx square, ny square, nz square. So those that combination which has the lowest value of nx square, ny square, nz square should give the lowest energy and therefore should be the next possible state. First let us try this, combina this combination. So in this case it becomes 3 square plus 1 square plus 1 square which is 11x square by 8m square. This is 2 square plus 2 square plus 1 square that is 4 plus 4 plus 1 9x square by 8m square. So clearly this has lesser energy compared to this combination. So after this state, the next possible state is given by nx is equal to 2, ny is equal to 2, nz is equal to 2. So this is ruled out. Okay. So the next possible state is the one where 2 of the quantum numbers has value equal to 2, the third quantum number has value equal to 1. So the next state is nx is equal to ny is equal to 2 both having 2 value nz is equal to 1 this is one combination or what you can do is nx and nz is equal to 2 ny is equal to 1 the last combination is ny and nz is equal to 2 and nx is equal to 1 so again you see that there are three combinations this combination corresponds to wave function psi 2 2 1 this corresponds to wave function psi 2 1 2 this corresponds to wave function psi 1 2 2 and if you write the corresponding expression for these three wave functions you see that they represent a different states okay this wave function represents a state where the particle is in the exacted state along x and y but in the ground state along y sorry z this represents the wave function of a state where the particle is in the excited state along x and z but in the ground state along y. Similarly, psi 1, 2, 2 represents the, that state of the system where the particle is in the ground state along x axis but its motion along y and z axis is in the excited state. So, clearly these three wave functions you can write the expression like this and see that they are totally different states or totally different equations but again if i calculate their energies all the three have the same energies okay e 2 2 1 e 1 2 2 or e 2 1 2 whatever it is the combination all have the same energy h square divided by 8 m a square into 2 square plus 2 square plus 1 square which is 9 h square divided by 8 m a square so again this is a triply degenerate state because three different states represented by different wave function of the same system has same energy therefore this is also a triply degenerate state okay let us move on to the next possible state how do you calculate the next possible state it is that combination of nx ny and nz that gives the next possible lowest energy okay you can try it yourself and find that the next possible state the particle can have or the system can have is when all nx ny and nz has the same value equal to 2 and there is only one such combination possible and its wave function is now represented as psi 2 2 what is the meaning of psi 2 2 it means the particle is in the first excited state along x axis y axis as well as z axis okay and the corresponding energy of this level is e22 is h square by 8 m a square into 2 square plus 2 square plus 2 square which is 4 plus 4 plus 4 12 h square divided by 8 m a square so there is no question of degeneracy here because there is only one state or one wave function corresponding to this state so if I plot the energy level diagram for the cubic curve box, what do you mean by energy level diagram? It is the graphical 
representation or a diagrammatic representation of the energies placed in the increasing order though the ground state that is the lowest energy is e111 and there is only one wave function representing the ground state which is psi11 okay the next uh, state okay there are three wave functions representing the next state okay one is psi211 psi121 psi112 there are three states okay represented by different wave functions but all have same energy so e211 is equal to e121 is equal to e112 which is 6 h square divided by 8 m a square this is 3 h square divided by 8 m a square so this is a non degenerate state this is a degenerate state which is triply degenerate the next possible energy level or the state is again triply degenerate okay you have three wave functions representing different states but all have same energy e221 is equal to e212 is equal to e122 all are equal to 12 uh, 9 9 h square divided by 8 m a square this is again triply degenerate the next possible state there is only one state corresponding to one wave function psi 222 having energy e222 equals 12 h square by 8 m a square this is again a non degenerate state okay similarly you can explore the next possible combination and find out yourself whether it is degenerate or not degenerate if it is degenerate whether it is doubly degenerate or triply degenerate or more complicated degeneracy arises okay that is left to you okay uh, so what uh, is the outcome of this discussion is this degeneracy is an uh, automatic outcome of the application of Schrodinger wave equation to a cubical box. So it is a purely quantum mechanical uh, effect or uh, phenomenon which cannot be explained by classical physics or classical mechanics. And uh, knowingly or unknowingly, you have used these terminologies in your uh, inorganic chemistry classes, okay, where the phi set of d orbitals in an atom, okay, are called as a degenerate especially when you are studying this crystal field theory before the electric field is applied all the phi d orbitals phi set of d orbitals of an atom are considered as degenerate sets it means these orbitals are represented by different wave functions but all have same energy and when such an atom is uh, exposed to an electric field okay that is in terms of the approach of a ligand when a ligand approaches the metal central metal ion in different directions okay depending on the nature of the ligand and depending on the geometry of the approach in which direction they are approaching okay what happens is because of the influence of the electric field of this ligand the d orbitals interact with the electric field of the ligands in different ways depending on how these orbitals are projected in the space so because of the difference in the interactions of these d orbitals okay they split into non degenerate states okay two non degenerate states let me not uh, drag this much okay so what i wanted to sell, tell is this degeneracy phenomenon is a purely quantum mechanical phenomenon and it arises in the cubical box because because of the symmetry of the cubical box if the cubical box is the same along x-axis y-axis and z-axis so this symmetry because of the symmetry we have this concept of degeneracy okay so this is the application of the schrodinger wave equation to particle in a three-dimensional box so this is for the coming class
in the next class we will discuss about the postulates of quantum mechanics and using that postulate we will again go back to our discussion on particle in a one dimensional box and we will try to calculate some uh, uh, quantum mechanical parameters such as average positions average momentum of the particle in a one dimensional box and figure out how this uncertainty principle is indeed applicable for the particle in a one dimensional box thank you